Hello everybody, in this video, I would like to introduce to you the Laplace transform of resistor, inductor and capacitor. First of all, let's take a look at the differentiation property of Laplace transform. Let's say we have a time domain signal FT. And we apply the Laplace transform to the FT. The output of the Laplace transform will be FS. Now in time domain, we apply a differentiation or we differentiate the signal FT. What happened in S domain is that S multiply with Fs minus F0. What is F0? F0 is basically Ft when t is equal to 0. Now take a look at the resistor model and equation. It is well known that we can relate the voltage across the resistor, the current through the resistor and the resistor value itself with this equation V equal to IR. Now let's apply Laplace transform to the left and to the right side of the equation. Because this is a linear equation, then we can just write V as equal to I S multiplied with R. Then we can draw an equivalent circuit based on the equation Vs equal to Is multiplied with R. Basically for the case of resistor, the equivalent circuit in S domain is similar to the circuits in time domain. Now let's consider the second component in electrical circuits which is inductor L VT equal to L di dt which means that the relation between voltage across the inductor and the current is not linear But it's okay, we still can apply Laplace transform to the left and to the right side of the equation using differentiation property.
and using differentiation property the output of the Laplace transform is written in red color from this equation you can see that in S domain the voltage across the inductor is defined by two voltages the first one is the voltage SLIS and the second one is the voltage Li0 so we can draw an equivalent circuit based on this equation So now we have circuit in time domain. We have equation in time domain. Equation in S domain. and equivalent circuit in its domain Now we are able to derive the voltage across the inductor using equation in time domain and the Laplace transform. From this equation, we can derive another equation for the current IS. So IS is basically the summation of two different current, Vs over SL and I0 over S. Now let's see how the equivalent circuit in S domain looks like based on the second equation of the inductor. Now let's consider another component of electrical circuits which is called capacitor. From this equation it is shown that the relation between the voltage of the capacitor and the current also is not linear using differentiation property of Laplace transform the current IS is equal to
as c multiply with vs minus c multiply with v0 we can see that from this equation the current is is derived from two different current the first one is sc vs and the second one is cv0 let's draw an equivalent circuit based on this equation in s domain From this equation, we can derive the second equation for the capacitor in S domain. Let's draw the equivalent circuit based on the second equation. So to conclude what we have done in this video This is the circuit for the resistor in time domain These are two equivalent circuits of the inductor in S domain. This is the circuit for the capacitor in time domain. And two equivalent circuit of the capacitor in S domain are shown at the right side. That's all. I will see you in the next video.